Hey guys! Salut mes amis och hallo goodbye. Maxime here. A new update is out, focusing on some very interesting changes for communication in game. Before we go into it, I'm back with Skin Baron, a market site with several skins for several games that you can get a lot cheaper than the Steam community market. The biggest difference is that the seller can actually withdraw their balance in real money. They provide protection during trading and payment through their escrow system. And the team behind Skin Baron is well respected and very invested into the esports scene. Make sure you check them out in the link below if you have skins you want to buy or sell. Now before I go into the update, I'll quickly talk about this blog post that Valve released a few days ago. It's relevant to the update that was released today. In this blog post, Valve talks about communication abuse and how they're trying to prevent it. One of the changes they already implemented allows you to hide profile pictures and names. I like these features a lot, especially this one since I can decide to only show my Steam friends profile pictures, which helps me distinguish them from others on the server that I'm playing on. Moving on, Valve tells us about their next steps in making our games less toxic. How, you might ask? Well, the answer is with a new report system. To report someone with the new system, you have to go through the scoreboard, choose report, and pick abusive communications or profile. Toxic players will receive a warning if they get significantly more abuse reports than other players. And today, the new system has been implemented, meaning that this report option will be in full effect. If the same toxic people continue to receive reports through this option, they will eventually get muted by default. It is a penalty for their toxic behavior. You can obviously unmute them if you want, but in order for them to remove the penalty, they will have to earn XP and play some games until they no longer get muted by default. This means that they won't be able to just wait for the penalty to disappear. So now you might ask, how do we know if someone is muted? Well, it's super easy not to miss, and I think it's pretty clear. Also, Valve has added this to the update. Muting a player will also hide their name and avatar. And if you report a player for abusive communications, they will now get automatically muted as well. Even though I'm liking this approach of filtering out toxic behavior, there are still a few things that are unclear to me. First off, will the system work across all Valve official game modes, or does it go even further than that? I can only assume that for now it will work on any game mode. I would be surprised if someone on my retake servers was suddenly muted. Another thing worth bringing up is if it can be heavily abused in some way. If let's say four premates decide to report the fifth guy in the team for other reasons than being toxic, does it still go through? At least we do know that reports from accounts that generate no XP or accounts that just spam reports have little to no impact on the system, which is good. So that means if you're an active player who isn't spamming reports, your impact when you do finally decide to report someone will be more effective. Overall, it feels nice to know that the report options are finally becoming useful in some way. You can support me by liking the video, subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome and go bananas.